30 years ago, this Crown Victoria was left in this field abandoned, and after a ton of negotiating, it finally has a new owner, which means we get to pull it out. But look at what all these years of sitting has done to this car. It's completely covered from head to toe in lichen, moss, and disgusting grime, so we have our work cut out for us. Now we started by having our old friend Brett use his skid steer to pull the car out. And when you look down, you could see it was sitting in the same spot for so long that there were tree roots growing up underneath the car. We had no keys to the Crown Vic, so as we were trying to get it onto our trailer, it was a pretty tedious task because it wasn't going up straight, so we had to do a lot of different maneuvering. We weren't sure if it was going to work, but eventually we were finally able to get it up there and get it back to our shop. So obviously the whole exterior of the car is, is just covered in organic crap. Mm, but gross. What's crazy is the size of these lichens. I've never seen them this big. Yeah, they're huge. Massive. And they're right here huge. Like everywhere else there's like these little guys, but there's some. Yeah. You know what? This material holds right, moisture. Holds, holds and then more moisture. I don't know what lichen is exactly. I don't know if it's like a fungus or, I mean, I don't think so, but I don't know. maybe we should peel these off. I just want to take the big guy off. Oh, hey, there we go. Hey, that's a motor. I don't oh, know. this is running fuel out of there. I don't know if that's <laughs> OE. Do you think he was driving like this? Yeah, no, 100%. Or at least they were trying to fix it and they, you know, maybe the fuel wasn't working and they did that. Lower the, oh, that was lost a finger. There we go, look at that. You know what I actually noticed while I'm over here? We had a, a mouse having a party in the Sunjin Bay. This thing will never run again with that. I don't know, the guy that owns it now thinks he's gonna sell it for big bucks. What do you guys think? Think it's gonna sell for big bucks? <laughs> I mean, he could probably get five bucks for that gas can. You know what the biggest crock of crap is? If you run out of gas on the highway or wherever, and then you go to the gas station, you know how expensive the cans are at the gas stations? Because they know anyone that walks into a gas station looking for a gas can. That's it. They got you. <sighs> Dude. You have no like, other option. For one like that, it's like 25 bucks. Yeah, this this copper's pretty... actually in decent shape though. It's easy, easy, pal. Copper? I know your favorite pastime is stealing copper. Hey, <laughs> it's, it's recycling copper. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That was clever. So we're going to start detailing this car by vacuuming out all the jams, getting rid of any of this debris that could go all over our shop, and then we're going to pressure wash everything away, which is very satisfying. But for the question of the video, leave your answers in the comments below. Do you guys enjoy seeing more of us talking? Like how this video is? If you like this kind of stuff, leave a comment and let us know. Or if you want to see more of the detailing, let us know that as well. We obviously want to make videos that you guys want to see. And the owner of this car has his own YouTube channel and he has plans to do some stuff with this Crown Victoria that you definitely don't want to miss. So make sure you go check him out in the link down below. Oh, it's working. You'd make a terrible thief. Thanks, dude. Wait, it's open. All the criminals in the comment section, if you could tell us the best way to do something like this, I'd really appreciate what it. Is oh, nice. I can't believe that worked like that. All right, let's get a vacuum cleaner and clean some of this out. And with the rear carpeting out, we're gonna go ahead and clean it now so it has time to dry, but look at all of that gunk coming out of it. It's so gross.
And now we're moving onto the wheels. And somehow when we pulled off each hubcap, every single wheel had a nice little bit of something behind it. But what's even funnier is watching Mike and RJ try to put the hubcaps back on. Taking notes. <laughs> I'm taking detailed notes right now. Oh. He got it. And now for a pre-rinse, we're gonna go ahead and cover the entire car with an actual soap this time and see if that actually helps break down this organic matter before we pressure wash it off.
Now we're gonna move on to the engine bay and give it a really nice clean. And if you guys know what engine's in this car, leave a comment below. Working hard, RJ, or hardly working. So we actually found this car at the same place that we had found the Continental. It had similar organic material all over it and uh, similar paint fade as well. This looks like it's probably been repainted. And the only way that we can actually get this off is with Mike loading up the pressure washer on his back like Blastoise and getting super close to the paint and trying to blast out all that contaminant. So yep. once we get that done, we'll wash it and hopefully be able to salvage it. We don't recommend ever being this close with the pressure washer. So, uh, cause you could damage the paint. But. Yeah. I'll kind of try to show you a little area that I'm going to do work on here. So we tried basically a bunch of products. Nothing could remove this. I have no idea why we didn't want to try like actual acid on the car. Uh, we just figured that, you know, using the pressure washer would kind of be the easiest way to do it. I gotta say, just a side note, I went to go see Kiss with my dad, and I've never been a Kiss fan. Those dudes rock. I don't know if you guys are Kiss fans. Those dudes put on a crazy show, and it's their farewell tour. If you guys wanna see Kiss, I recommend it. Even at 75 years old, Paul Stanley rocks. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? I found a dollar. Dude, this is happy days. I'm so excited when I find money. That's a nice one, too. 1988. That's a nice one, dude, for this your is collection. A pretty, this is a pretty good one. This is going in our, our little dollar collection. Antibacterial. What's that noise? Is it still going? I think I hear it. Come on, we gotta, we gotta oh, see no. it. Oh no. Go, go, go. Whoa, slow down, dude. I'm gonna slip and fall in here. Oh yes, we got it. Well, well, well. Hmm. Brent's out here killing it, boys. Hey, show the people how your head goes through the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So when I bought this, I didn't realize that it was a little too uh, tall for our ceiling, so I had to pop one of the tiles off, so. All right, buddy, well, happy stepping. As you guys can clearly see, we have some droop here in the headliner, uh, just a little bit. And I really, really like the, oh, the previous owner of this vehicle tried to remedy it. They were using shims, and there's a lot of shims. So I'll start pulling some off so we can see here. No, these aren't even shims. These are like baseboard just shards and just, of wood. We're just gonna go ahead and remove this whole thing because I don't want to breathe any of this in. Mm -hmm. It's just flaking on us, it's gross. There we go. Now we're gonna clean up the steering wheel and then polish up the levers on the side.
unfortunately with the carpeting from how long it sat and then maybe the conditions it was in, the dye began to fade and turn into a yellow color. So we still extracted the whole car, but there's not much of a difference there. And then we also cleaned the seats as well. All right, real quick, we want to say thank you to Brad, our new videographer, for joining the team. Brad has actually worked with us in the past, and he's a good friend of the channel, and we're excited to bring him on full time. So we had to hook him up with some of our merchandise. We have our Death Trap shirt, our Death Trap trucker hat that has the skeleton driving the Challenger that we did. So we're going to hook Brad up with that. And uh, if you guys want to buy either the Death Trap merch that we made or our crew hats or crew shirts, uh, you can go to shopwdmerch.com in the description below. Try and save these cars and provide the service and entertainment for everyone for free. So it means a lot to us if you would like to wear it. If not, thank you for watching either way.